What's up everybody? My name is Scott Paddock and today we are going to talk about how to play swing eighth notes. Swing eighth notes are kind of a hard thing to teach, especially in the beginning. And the reason for that is that there is no rhythm that is written that actually sounds the way swing eighth notes sound. Now you hear people teach dotted eighth, sixteenth, uh, that would sound which to me just sounds like someone riding a horse do ba do ba do and you know you're swinging to sound like that uh one that's a little bit more accurate is when you have a triplet and the first two notes of the triplet are tied together but that just seems like a lot to think about and kind of strange and hard to put over just two eighth notes so my solution is when i am teaching my students how to play swing eighth notes, I teach them about the accented note. That's what it is, is every other note has an accent on it. So your first note is regular, the notes on beat one, two, three, and four, and then all of the ands have an accent. One, and, two, and, three, and, four, and. We're gonna accent those notes. So I'm gonna play that right now, and I'm not gonna swing the eighth notes yet, but I'm gonna play that accent, and you'll hear how close it is to swing. Like I said, those aren't swing eighth notes yet, but you can hear it in there. It's very close. And swing eighth notes are all about a feel. So you just wanna hear that feel of hitting the and and making it more important. So when it comes to actually making the eighth note swing, you wanna think about that accent on the and of each beat, but you wanna think about loosening up the rhythm a little bit. So instead of It's going to be a little bit looser. So that second note, the note that's on the and, do ba do ba do ba, is a little bit shorter, but is it a 16th note? Not really. Is it part of a triplet? Uh, not really. It's all in the feel. It's a long note followed by a shorter accented note. Now, if you switch it up and you put the ba first, you have ba, do, ba, do, ba, it just sounds weird. As you can tell, it took me a couple tries to get it right. Uh, that is not right at all. You want the first note to be long, long, short, long, short, long, do, ba, do, ba, do, ba, do. And that's the same even if there is a pickup note. The song that I played in the beginning, which is Straight No Chaser, it starts on an A and goes to a D with a pickup. The, the A is on the end of fourth. So what I do is I tongue the A and it's on the end of four and the next note is a D and they are all eighth notes, so then I tongue the D and start the swing style. If I don't start the swing style there and turn it around, it just switches everything up. So you always want to have your accent note on the and unless you were specifically trying to turn the beat around. So that's it. Swing eighth notes are more of a concept and a feel than a rhythm. So if you're trying to figure out, is it a dotted A 16th or some other kind of rhythm? No, it's none of that. It's two eighth notes that have a loose feel to it and your second eighth note is accented. Even when you play fast. Even when you play really fast. So that's it. Swing eighth notes are all about the feel. Don't overthink it. Don't overthink about a rhythm. Don't overthink about any of it. Just feel it. Do, ba, do, ba, do, ba, do. Long, short, long, short, long, short, long. Unaccented, accented, unaccented, accented. That's it. <laughs>